What does it mean to give thanks? Why is it so important? And why have we collectively decided to build an entire holiday around this sentiment? That's something we may ponder whenever Thanksgiving rolls around. It's also something that's easily lost in the spectacle of traditions and festivities that we've come to associate with the holiday season. And sure, there's nothing wrong with that. But no matter how you choose to approach Thanksgiving or the holidays in general, there is real value in taking a moment to be thankful. I know that's not easy for everyone. There are plenty of people out there enjoying real hardship, be they bad circumstances, misguided decisions, poor health, or unexpected tragedy. In that context, giving thanks to anything feels a lot harder, but it's still worth the effort. And in that regard, I can relate to some extent, because 2024 has been an exceptionally difficult year for me. I've had a few upheavals in my personal and professional life. I also dealt with some unexpected health issues early in the summer. But by far, the hardest part of this past year has been dealing with the loss of a loved one. Because back in the early summer, a very close relative of mine, someone who has been part of my life since the day I was born, passed away. Now, her passing was not sudden. She was already at an age where we knew the end was near. And I, along with everyone in my family, had time to embrace for that fateful moment. But even when it eventually came, it still hurt. It hurt so much more than I ever could have imagined. Processing it was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my adult life. And a big part of what made it so hard was the last moment I ended up sharing with her. It happened during Thanksgiving last year. That was the last time I was with her. It was the last time I spoke with her, hugged her, and told her how much I loved her. A part of me knew at the time that it was likely the last Thanksgiving I would ever have with her. Even though that turned out to be true, it was still gut-wrenching having to say goodbye. It's sure to make Thanksgiving this year much more difficult, but in a very meaningful way. Because it's not just the first year in which my family will celebrate without a cherished loved one. It marks the first year in which all our memories of those no longer with us become so much more precious. It's an approach to the holidays you tend to notice as you get older. Thanksgiving becomes more than just a day of food, family, and football. It becomes this shared moment where we all embrace those still with us and honor those who are not. I don't doubt for a second that the loved ones I miss dearly will be on my mind later today. When I sit down to dinner with my family, when we say grace and talk about what we're thankful for, I'll be thinking of the people in my life that I deeply cherish, including those who have since passed away. That kind of solemn remembrance is difficult to dwell on, let alone process. But I believe it's a critical component of what makes Thanksgiving so meaningful. Because by confronting loss, regret, and sorrow amongst family and friends, we can better appreciate the good in our lives. And on that front, I certainly have plenty to be thankful for. I have built a good life for myself. I've managed to make a good and decent living. I have had to work hard to get to where I am. But I freely acknowledge I've had opportunities that few others have enjoyed. I have tried to make the most of those opportunities, and for what I've achieved through them, I am truly thankful. This YouTube channel alone, and those who support it, have also given me plenty to celebrate. Since cracking a thousand subscribers, I feel like I've built a solid audience. There are those who enjoy my creepypasta stories, there are those who enjoy my thought experiments, there are those who enjoy my comic reviews, my video essays, and my live streams of various video games. And to every subscriber and every viewer, I am very thankful. It's hard to put into words what it means to connect with others in such a way. Having struggled all my life to make strong connections outside my family, they do matter a great deal to me. Outside my YouTube channel, I consider myself very fortunate in other ways. I have so many wonderful people in my life, friends, relatives, and colleagues who are all very important to me. They're there for me when I'm struggling. They guide me whenever I navigate new challenges. In general, they just make my life inherently better by being part of my world. I am the man I am because of them, and I strive to keep being better because of their support. I hope to return the favor, even as time goes on and new challenges arise. I also hope to continue improving this channel, 
growing my audience and contributing to the larger community that is YouTube. But in this moment, for the world I've cultivated and all those who've chosen to join, I truly thank you. And from my world to yours, to friends, families, loved ones, and whoever happens to be watching this, I wish you a safe and happy Thanksgiving.